So here we are in the Aston Martin DBX and what are the first impressions? Well, actually this is a car that gets so many of the fundamentals right. <laughs> wow! Just leaps forward. I mean there's no hesitation. It's got a nine speed auto, drops down a gear and bam it just punches you forwards. That's really impressive. So you know you wonder sometimes of an Aston will it be um, perhaps style over practicality that, that rules but actually Aston have worked really hard to make an SUV that is not only beautiful but functions brilliantly as, a, as an SUV too. So I'm in a cabin that is enormously spacious. I mean this is bigger inside than um, something like a Bentley Bentayga or a full-size Range Rover so there's plenty of space for rear occupants and the front is a lovely place to be so I can get a really comfortable driving position that feels sporty but it feels like I could sit here all day um, great visibility and it feels airy inside as well so as standard Aston Martin have provided the DBX with a full-length glass roof. So Aston Martin have worked really hard to ensure that not only does DBX have a very high level of specification as standard, but just importantly, from a safety point of view, they have packed the car full of equi equipment and technology. So interestingly, from a safety point of view, there is nothing extra that you can put on the car. It all comes as standard. And I could real off a list of features but you know we've got everything from adaptive cruise control that I have to say works brilliantly to automatic braking assist lane keeping assist uh, it will emergency brake for you from the rear as well as you're reversing uh, high beam assist lots of little electronics there that are um, intelligent that just make the car not only safe but easy to live with when day-to-day -day driving. So DBX undoubtedly will be used to drive more miles than the average Aston Martin sports car and it really feels a tool that is fit for purpose so noise levels in the car well it's got double laminated glass at the side it's got lots of um, sound insulation so it just it feels quiet and not frenetic at all. It's a calm place to be when you're just rolling around at sensible speeds in the car. Thing. But the controls are just so well well balanced that even when you're driving slowly, actually, there's just a, a level of satisfaction from great steering, for example. It's just it just got beautifully balanced steering for an SUV. It's the best best steering I've ever come across in uh, in a sports utility vehicle. What I find Aston have done so well with the way that this car drives is that it feels entirely natural. And what I mean by that is, although there is some clever electronics happening behind the scenes in terms of managing body control, um, ride quality and so on, it just, it, it seems to steer, ride, and, and the way that its chassis gives feedback is just very natural. You don't feel as if there's electronics fighting the weight as is often the way in this class of car. Um, it just feels like a, a really beautifully balanced chassis to begin with. So next up let's talk about the infotainment system in DBX because it has had an upgrade. So not only have we got all of those safety technological features but we've got a new looking screen, full digital um, dash as well. It's got Apple CarPlay, a standard which is, is great to have. Um, it's also got a, uh, a camera system that appears through the, uh, the main screen that gives you a bird's eye view of the car as you're parking. So it just stops you curbing your wheels or being able to line up with, uh, with the pavement as you're parallel parking. Or if you're parking in the middle of a car park where there's no cars, 
it allows you to line the car up directly between the white lines, which I, I find particularly satisfying. It was always going to be fascinating to understand Aston Martin's interpretation of an SUV. There are some really clear, defining characteristics that make an Aston, and so how Aston translated that into a uh, uh, an upright, off-road capable vehicle has been um, really interesting to see. <laughs> yes, I think we can say it definitely does. I mean, the way this car picks up is remarkable. And it doesn't seem to be fighting any weight. It just takes off and goes. Now, one of the things that Aston Martin have spoken about uh, in great detail and has been covered in the press is the fact that the DBX rides on its own unique platform specifically for Aston Martin. And that aspect is not to be underestimated. Where it really shows is the way that the car goes around corners. It feels so agile and placeable on the road. It has wonderful steering. The best way I can describe it is it's almost like taking a hot hatch and putting a 550 brake horsepower V8 engine in the front. It just, it behaves incredibly for a car this size and is an absolute pleasure to chuck down a twisty road. It's got a fantastic ambience within the DBX cabin. You can really feel that this is a handcrafted British product. It feels very Aston Martin. The, the Aston Martin interior design language has followed all the way through. So if I get out of a, a DBS or a DB11, this feels like home still. I'm trying to decide which of the modes is my favorite to drive in. I think I think it's GT mode. It's comfortable, decent ride quality, still responsive. You've still got great steering, but it just just makes the car feel sumptuous, I guess, to travel in. I do like the fact that Aston Martin have chosen to supply the DBX with a three-year unlimited mileage warranty, but to match it, three years servicing. It really just helps manage ownership costs for a car like this. So we've been driving down some pretty tight country lanes and I have to say I haven't given the car's width a second thought really. It's, it's really easy to place on the road and I feel like I can see the extremities on the bonnet, certainly the bulges uh, left and right um, in terms of the car's contours, so it's just it's just no problem at all to just tuck it into tight spaces and thread it through tight gaps. So what we have in DBX is undoubtedly an enormously practical car, but more importantly than anything, it's an Aston Martin. And why that's important? Well, generally it's a product that's just so well received on the road. So you tend to get people who gives you the thumbs up as you drive by or you get let out of junctions like no other brand I've I've ever known. It's a pleasure to own an Aston Martin. <laughs>